We've been making sauerkraut as long as we've been growing cabbage. And typically, you'll harvest your cabbage after the first or second light frost. They say it tends to sweeten it. Come on over this way. Let me show you what you need to get started on your sauerkraut. So you'll need a scale, canning salt or non-iodized salt, an earthenware crock or a food grade bucket, and 15 pounds of cabbage. Yeah, I said 15. This is my last head of cabbage that we need for the sauerkraut. So let's head over to the sink and give it a rinse. So we're going to remove the outer leaves. And inspect it for any spoilage or brown spots. Looks good. Let's give it a rinse. Okay, back to the counter. So this is the kraut cutter we used to use. This is the one I prefer to use now because this protects my fingers from the blade. And with sauerkraut, you want the long, thin shreds, whether you choose to cut it with a knife or your favorite cutter. Now our next step is to weigh the cabbage. We want five pounds of shredded cabbage and three tablespoons of non-iodized canning salt. We're going to sprinkle our salt on the cabbage and then let it sit for about five to ten minutes so the cabbage wilts and it starts to draw out the juice. Okay. There's just no other way around it. Just use your hands to toss the salt with the cabbage. All right, we'll let this sit. We'll come back and it'll start to have some juice on the bottom and then we're gonna pack it into our crock. It's been 10 minutes. Take a look at how our cabbage has wilted and how the natural juices have been drawn out by the canning salt. Now the next step is to transfer the wilted cabbage into our crock. So the cabbage will go in and we'll pour the juices on top and then we're going to tamp it down with our hand. Alright, the cabbage is in. In goes the juice. Next we're going to even out our cabbage and tamp it down. You want the juices to cover all of the cabbage. Now you want to leave at least four inches of clearance here because once the fermentation process starts, you will have some juices bubbling up. You'll need two food grade plastic bags. The first one will cover the kraut and act as a barrier. The second one we're going to fill with water, actually three to four inches of water. So the water-filled bag is going to do three things for us. Cover the cabbage, 
weigh it down while the fermentation process is active, and also provide an anaerobic condition for fermentation to occur. And now is a great time to mention why we're using canning salt. Canning salt is not iodized. If you used iodine salt in your cabbage to make sauerkraut, it wouldn't ferment. I tied the bag shut. As an added security, we usually place a dinner plate with maybe a bottle of water or some sort of weight on top. Now we need to find a home for our crock for the next three to four weeks. We want to choose a place that's well ventilated and has a relatively constant temperature between maybe 68 and 72. Just keep in mind if the temperature is cooler, the fermentation process is going to take longer. Check it daily because you might have some film or light scum build up on the top. You just want to skim that off because that's normal. We'll come back in three to four weeks and process our sauerkraut.